here we are at number six, Lime Close. And this is the Avon campsite at Mabel's door. Oh, you're going to open the door. Yeah, Golden Sands this is. Right, go on, let's have a look. It's very, very windy out here. At least it's not raining. Let's have a look. <laughs> Very nice. Well, this looks okay. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. I did say to you, it might mm -hmm. be a bit more modern than the last one we had. Yeah. We got central eating. Yeah. It looks mm. all right. I think you better let me go in front, yeah, haven't I think you? You're, supposed to... you're walking in front of me. Go that Sorry. way. <laughs> Which way you For God's sake. <laughs> Microwave, look. Here's mm. your full cooker. All your plates and glasses, mm. your toaster, fridge Those freezer, mm. there's your fridge. Smaller freezer, that's big enough for me and you. There's all your pots. Definitely. All, pans. all the pots and pans are in there, are they? Yeah. yeah that's all right. Mm. What's washing bowl. <laughs> Toilet clean and tidy. Eh? Bin. So I look down here. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your toilet and shower. Yeah, that's all right. I thought there was usually a seal on the toilet, but there's not. Mm -hmm. Usually isn't there? No doubt this is the broom cupboard, is it? No. Oh, it's the other toilet. There's two toilets. Okay. Yeah, and a small bedroom. Oh, there's two small bedrooms. Oh. I don't think... Yeah. Yeah, this is all right. The double. In here, I haven't got there oh, yet. Right. Okay, sorry. Take your time, you'll be in front oh. of me again. There's the double. Oh. oh, this bedroom. This bedroom's a bit smaller than before, but you've got the extra room. Right. So this is a, a six berth. Well, yeah. no, it'll be eight berth, won't it? Because there'll be the bunk in the front. Yeah. Well, let's. Mm, so that's so. just the extra door there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, this bedroom's not too bad a size. Mm. It's not bad. Well, it looks nice and neat and clean. Mm. Yeah, it does. Oh, you can hear the wind. It's very, very windy. What's in there? Just the brush cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> the fridge the fridge freezer thing, Yeah, it's small, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sure, it was a lot bigger before, but no, this is a nice caravan. It don't they don't look very old, does it? <laughs> and this is number six Lime Crescent. Well, that don't look a bad spot at all. We're parked right outside. It looks like you get parking bays, um, but but this caravan is right on the parking bay, so I imagine if you were over here, look, you can't park your car right outside, but I don't know if it makes any difference. Mm. It's not a bad size telly. As I say, we've got the central eating all through. Yeah, this is ideal. Great. This is the bathroom, you see. And usually, this cupboard would be locked, I think, but in, in this one it's undone. Now we have stopped in them before, where you can get at all this anyway. But to be fair, it's on maximum there for the radiators, maximum for the hot water, and it's got the heating set in there as well. So, to be honest, there's no need to touch any of this, there shouldn't be. It should all be done for you, but there is instructions if you have any problem, but 
as it's working. I'm not going to touch anything. Right, oh, that's a little fan. No, there's a little fan in here, look, because this is the toilet. Now, here in the master bedroom, the double bedroom, there's a central heating control there. You just press that and it boosts the heating. You've got to allow a minute for it to start, it says. But as I've turned it off, I think, anyway, so it may not work. But normally, if you had the heating on, you could just boost it there. If You, you know, if, when you wake up in the morning and you've got to sock it down here and the light switch is there as well. That's just for the main light in the bedroom. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, as I say, this bedroom's not big. But you have got a little cabin at each side just to put your cup of tea on in the morning or gin, it depends what you like. But um, it's big enough, really. Yeah, we've got some of our stuff out already. There's a main switch for the electric there. It's like an open wardrobe. And the radiator down there. Little mirror and another socket look and another light switch. So. It does seem pretty good, and behind that door, there's a mirror as well, full, well, not full length, but you could see yourself in it. Now, this is one of the small bedrooms. This has got a socket in, and that's actually got a USB in it. But really, for the small bedroom, it's not too bad, look. You never get much room, but that's not bad. If you swing around, you can see Wendy's put some clothes. In there and you've got a radiator in this room but we've just put the case in here and some other items just for storage because there's only the two of us but, but it's not a bad size in this room and there is one more I'll just show you actually leave it running let's have a look because it's just here the other room here's the other bedroom we've got an open wardrobe in here and a couple of drawers that's just our freezer box we brought us food in and you've got a socket on the wall here and a mirror and uh, yeah it's nice and clean and tidy it looks all right in here right there's eating instructions in the caravan but normally if everything's running correctly you should just press the up button on there can you see the red lights on right up to maximum that's all you need to do and it says eating on now the cupboard should be locked where the boiler is it usually is let's turn this off now we're off look but it still says eating on but the blue lights on there for they are it's gone off now and that's it's as simple as that but on this caravan I've noticed the cupboards undone so I'll let you see the boiler I don't know whether I mentioned the uh, radiator there say so there's one in every room I mentioned this is the like standard shower compartment in these caravans and, and there's, there's plenty of room in there they're all right these I find these are okay it's plenty of room to move about it's not too bad they're pretty good and of course in here there's a sink and a tap shaving point with a mirror and the toilet and the window heated towel rail as I say there's another toilet next door and then we've got the main lounge looks untidy already look we've only been here an hour but plenty of room in here this is going to be all right this is yeah it's a bit hot in here because some fools turn the heating on now and it's not cold and now we're sweating buckets. Let's get this heating off. Yeah, as you see, I did press the boost in the bedroom and I don't know if you can see the lights. Look, they've gone right to the top. So just press that and take them to off. That's it. Oh God, mate, it's warm in here. I'd say this is the dining area. It's not a bad size table and there's some seats right round, as you see, and two like little puff type seats there. 
they good enough. If there were six of you, you'd, you'd be all right there. As I say, and I showed you the fridge freezer, but it's, it's like a, a diddy version of a, a fridge freezer, really. But it's got all our food in it, look. You'd think we were coming for a month, wouldn't you? So look, let's, and here's the freezer. I did show you quickly, but now Wendy's got it loaded up now, look. Plenty of grub in there, that'll keep us going for a few days. There's an air dryer down there. Yeah, this is the smallest fridge freezer we've seen in this type of caravan. But who cares? That's all right, that is. There's an extractor fan on the cooker. Full cooker, four burners. And the grill. And the, the oven. Um, you don't get any towels. You don't get towels, no. We've got all the bedding. You have to bring your own towels. But and, and to bring a shower mat because they don't provide one. Ah, uh, we always bring a shower mat. We do because when you when you climb out the shower, let's just nice. have a look out the door. It might be too windy out here. Oh, it's cleared up nice now. I will tell you what, let's get the microphone on and try it outside. And so far, it looks a really nice van. I've got to say that it's nice and clean i don't know how old it is but here's the front of the caravan it's an abi and there's a view of the other side of the caravan and that's just the outside see the outlet for the boiler at the back there yeah and the aerial the tv's working fine as i say it's an a abi and thank God it's chained to the floor. I suppose you can see that under there, look. They usually are, aren't they? So, yeah, things are all right. Quite pleased with this. Lovely blue sky at the moment, look. But it was raining like mad when we came. We've had some real heavy rain on the way here, but it seems to have blown over now. To be honest, it looks fantastic, doesn't it, when you look at the sky? But, yeah, I think we're going to be all right here. This is fine. There's the kids going around the track in the buggies. I forget what the buggies are called, but I'll tell you what, this looks good fun. I know it's for kids, but I don't mind it going here. Yeah, they're loving this. I would want to go faster. <laughs> Have a look over here. It's like a, a bungee thing here for the kids. Little blue elephant, he's cold. It's like there's a load of building work at the front beyond that. Now have a look down here. There's the go karts. Look, we could get one of them. I don't know how you'd pedal it, but. Yeah, this looks alright. Well, there's the big jump. Kids jump off the edge of there, edge of there onto this. Well, I presume it blows up, yeah. Yeah, there's quite a bit here for kids, it's pretty good. Bit of a park here for them. And then we turn towards Papa John's and Cook's mini market over that side. Yeah, an old crowded area. There's everything here for the kids. You can spend a fortune, I'm sure. I don't know where half these games are. Virtual reality. Oh, yeah, I can see. The kids have gone mad here. They've been loving this. <laughs> yeah, we'd have to keep them out of here. We had some, wouldn't we? There's a big list of events. I don't know whether you can see any of them on there, but the thing's starting to happen. It's the beginning of the season, yeah, so I think there's a lot going off here. Yeah, Wendy's just looked in the chip shop at the minute. It's only open Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but it is early in the season, so there's no wonder. But 
there's a fair amount here it's not bad at all really and we're just gonna have a quick look in the mini market have a look around there oh had a decent night we woke up to a beautiful morning it's it's really bright at the moment so i thought we'll have a quick walk around <coughs> yeah we'll see where where the path takes us i should have looked at the map better i think but that's typical loads of caravans on this site it is a big site it really is we go right down there see we're lime crescent and this is lime crescent down here so i'm not sure where the other end of this goes knowing me it'll be a dead end there you go look i might have known it is a dead end so like you've got to go, go back out onto the road Let's have a look at as you see there's all caravans down that way Yeah, there's no way through here. Let's go back. Uh, we're back on the road now. Now, I think this road, I think there's an entrance down here. So whether you can get through, or we have to go onto the road, I don't know. Big sight. We say we've been here before. We came last year. And I think we've actually been before that, but just don't realize how big the site is you know we're quite a way out from the amenity center here not that that matters to us really you know we're only here a few days yeah we are actually walking a little into the wind here so i don't know whether we'll be able to hear anything on this microphone we'll see what happens God, this is lovely. Yeah, it seems as though I've come out there. Arrivals is another 500 metres along that way. I think there's another site in between. So we've gone right round the back. It's, it is a big site. And that's the road down to Mablethorpe, if you can hear me okay. And that's the way down to the main entrance. Right, I think I understand a bit better where we are now. And there's some steps leading up to the uh, beach. We'll have a look at the sea. Yeah, we'll just go up these steps and this pathway through. Oh, it's a nice morning. It's not too cold either. Odd work walking on sand, isn't it? <laughs> it always is. Right, I wonder where we are now. Oh, it's a little further to the beach than I thought, actually. Quite a bit of gorse in here. Yeah, as I say, this is just a quick break, really, for us. You know, we uh, we booked this a little while ago. They sent us an offer, and we got four days, four nights, sorry, for uh, £97, which, you know, we've had them cheaper than that before, but it is a nice van, really. It's in a nice spot, and that works out to, well, not £25 a night, is it? About £24 something. Well, at the minute, most campsites are more than that. You know, if you take your own caravan or whatever, or even camping. So, I thought it was a pretty good deal, really. And it's been nice. It's, you know, centrally heated. 
you got all your amenities in the van. It's actually an eight berth. Two toilets, a shower, everything. It's on this one now, we've noticed. The um the bedroom's a bit small, which when you're laying in bed it don't matter. We understand that, but you couldn't swing a cat around in there, mate. It is tight, but if it's an eight berth, if you've got some kids, it's great. So can't complain about that. As they say, it is what it is. And uh, my God, this is dog walking territory. Now this is actually the touring side. Um, odd standing. The trouble is, you've got to go across the grass to get to the odd standing. Trevor and Pat's van, life on the run. So that's why we've come here really, we've come to meet them and have a bit of fun. But you can see the tracks across it very well in this field. And apparently some vans have been getting stuck. Not really surprising. Well, we'll walk back now. We're only around the corner from here. Um, have to drive in that way. It goes right around the back of the site. As I say, I've just discovered really there's a site in between. So it can be a bit of a walk. But we just across here somewhere. Oh, we're almost back now. There's a bit of a gap in the edge here. And get through a bit of a shortcut. There's not many vans occupied at the minute. Very early in the year. It's only just open, to be honest. Oh, there's the caravan we're in. Wendy messing with the curtains. Look. If you can hear me, it's not particularly windy today, but it's still a breeze. If you've enjoyed this sort of a review and enjoyed a nice walk round, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to comment, I'll get back to you. That's all, folks.